things uh, that I want to be able to just hit with you guys. All right? I I'm proud to be associated with this group. Give you guys the story of the builder who took pride in every single job that he did for 20 years. Every single project, every minute detail mattered. And at some point, he said, well, one more job. I've always wanted the ball. I want to be the guy making the plays and having to say, there's this focus that you have to have to play this game, being able to lock in on what you need to get done. The Rams were doubted and discounted, and they are 1-0. Whatever the outside world thought it was going to look like, they don't got a clue. Football's not for everybody. I love the challenge. It's not easy. It's hard. There's this determination that you have to have. One of the things that makes Matthew special, he's tough as nails. To look down the barrel and have no fear is something that you don't get from every quarterback. I'm watching Stafford walk, and he has a pretty big limp. He is a freaking killer. I think this guy's at his best when the odds are stacked against him. Stafford broke. Hit Puka, a walk-on winner! There's a certain place that you have to go that when the ball's snapped, the only thing that matters is executing that play. The Dallas game, bang my thumb early in the game. To be honest with you, on the Dallas sideline, I'm talking with Sean, I got like tears in my eyes, I think my season's done. If I am ever out of the game, it's for something that they're not letting me go back in with. Miss the Green Bay game. The Rams go into their bye at three and six. The last eight games of our season were playoffs on the line. Set up for the flea flicker, as he's crushed, he launches left side, jump ball, intercepted by the Seahawks. Banged up my ribs a little bit, but I can't come out of a game. I don't think he's actually at his best unless he's dealing with something. If he's able to play, he's going to be out there. Touchdown, Matthew Stafford with a fourth quarter comeback. Every season is different. You go, if I can hold on and just keep pushing myself for X amount more weeks, you know, we'll be okay. He deals down the seam. It's caught. Puka Nakua to the crib. Campaign still has a heartbeat. Doesn't realize how few and far between the opportunities are. You can push yourself a pretty long way. Rams trying to push this game to overtime. This team refuses to go away. Being able to step out on the field and lock into just that, that's an amazing feeling. That's what I probably first loved about it, and I still love that. Pressure, Stafford steps up, he throws, right side, end zone. As it gets later and later into the season, it becomes more and more of a challenge, right? Here's the kick. Wallace to his left. Wallace to the 30. Wallace hit there, spins off one, gets up the sideline. Ball game. The Rams go to six and seven. 17 times a year, we're going to put you in front of however many million people to do your job. You don't have a sense of urgency about that, then probably in the wrong sport or in the wrong job. How are you feeling today? A little ribby here or there. Freaking ribs. <sighs> you, know, you want to talk about quote unquote playoffs on the line, pressure to perform. Knowing we may have to win all these games to get in. And I believe we could do it, hell yeah. Uh, as gut-wrenching as that last loss was. We have earned the right to have meaningful football in December. These next four games are way more important. I just know that I got to do whatever I got to do to be in there. When you're three and six, you always have a control over your response. And I was so proud of the leadership that Matthew exuded throughout all of it. <clears throat> you know, it has the injury and then comes back and really puts the team on his back.
To fully understand Matthew, the football player, you have to be in the room with him. With the, the chin? Yep. I don't care if you want to run out. Try not. Okay. I can just add an A to it. Do you guys see him from Monday morning all the way through to Sunday night? You want to watch it here? I'll show it to you. It'll help keep me flat. Yes, I agree. Friendly. Yes, I agree. This chemistry, that's a pretty special thing to have when it comes to football, but then even beyond football, being able to go through life together and be in a similar season of life in terms of where our kids are at. Y'all have time to get behind your bum. Yay! Um, I heard stuff on this side of the house last night when I was taking out George. Yes. 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 He does an incredible job when he is home to be present. Who's gonna help me? I knew it! As much as those moments mean to my girls, they mean even more to him. Everybody good? Tuesdays during the seasons are off day. Every Tuesday this season, I've taken them to school, dropped them off, walked them in, and, and love doing that. Daddy, on the back of the bus, that it said school. Did it? Yeah, because it's a school bus. Girls, what's your favorite thing that the school serves for lunch? Ravioli, pizza, pasta, pancakes. They do pancakes for lunch or no? I mean, waffles. Waffles sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. Of course, waffles and chicken. No, they do chicken and waffles. Like nice. ravioli, but because I yesterday spit all over my shirt. Oh, Not all it? over, just, but just a little, little dots. Before I had kids, Friday I would come home, take a three hour nap, wake up, eat dinner, go right back to sleep. No naps anymore for the most part. Being a dad and then also playing quarterback, responsible for a lot of things and a lot of people. And you gotta keep it all straight. But for me, it just, I love being around them. And that's such a cool thing uh, to watch young people grow, your daughters. Do you want help to spell them? You're not going to get that opportunity to do that with them forever. T E N. Oh, yeah, I'm really happy. Oh, we're doing great. When I'm home, I love being home. I'm like a softy when it comes to that kind of stuff, and I love that. It's close. That's actually smart phonetically. What? S E V E. Oh. You know, can't say enough amazing things about them, man. I've known them for like 10 years, so I met them when I was, God, I had to been 23 maybe. You know, I'm a kid from Detroit, so Matthew Stafford is like the, <laughs> like the prince of the city. The trade actually happened on my birthday. Kelly FaceTimes me, and she's like, how does LA sound? And I'm like, LA sounds amazing, let's do it. <laughs> so. It's more than a job, you know, it's a family. You know, as a family, I feel like we're just kind of starting, right? We're young people in the world, but uh, old in the game of football. We've got young daughters, and I want them to feel loved. You know, I hope they feel that for me, that when I'm around, that... Um... I mean, you know they, that they do. Yeah. <laughs> If I was by myself, it'd be a disaster. I love being a dad. I love being a husband. I don't know. I, uh, I want the best for him. I want the best at all times. Okay. We can start watching the zombie, won't you? Turbo Ted! Love the spot, Coop! Wednesday and Thursday are kind of our long days uh, in the NFL. We're putting an early down in. If I feel this nickel here, you want me to go T.O.? Or yes. do you want to keep the double team on the inside? T.O. it. If you know that we're going to lose the back, I'd much rather Perfect. T.O. it. Done. Yep, here we go. He takes such great pride in uh, throwing the ball perfectly every single time. Every time that ball is coming out of his hand, it, it spins perfectly. Turbo set! <laughs> nice catch, kid. Nice job. I have never played with someone with the depth of knowledge like Matthew. I say, I've seen this before because I've played in this league so long and I have snapshots 
of this picture, I know what's coming. We played them in 20. We hit them on a setter go for a touchdown. Opener 2019? Mm -hmm. Being able to pull up plays, this is how we beat it. This was the time on the clock, the weather. This was what the um, wind was coming left to right here. You know, I threw it to this guy. He played, you know, football in a small town in Texas. Second round there for this year. 25. Focus forward on Washington, man. Did it hurt the other day? Yeah, it's okay. But let me tell you something. We're right in the mix. Every time you flip on NFL Network, what is popping up? Playoff standings, all that kind of stuff. You look around the league, what's supposed to happen or what you guys think you want to project, start playing. All right, hey, I bet you this team wins this game. That, man. The teams that go like this in the month of December are the teams that can cause the most problems if you earn an opportunity to be able to get in that dance. We might have not won the game last week, but the film doesn't lie. Every team that is on this schedule from this point on should be saying, I do not want to see this team because they're hitting their stride at the right time. We can't get into the playoffs today. All right, and I don't care what's happened before. All I care about is what's in front of us and how we move forward and how we continue to handle ourselves reflective of the caliber of people that we are in here, man. Hey, let's go get number seven, man. Here we go. I didn't know a whole lot when I first got here because I was the one guy that hadn't played four or five years in the system. So I was getting my breakfast from day one and going into the QB room to try and get ahead, study. Just so happened that that's what Cooper used to do too. What's it looking like? Oh. It was never even talked about like, hey, let's meet at this time and do this. It was just, this was my routine, this was his routine. Anybody's invited, and there's no exclusive uh, list. I mean, it could not look more different than. What are we doing, guys? It's third down. Yeah, it's third and four. And it's guys. just a great way to start my day as a quarterback. You, you gonna round it off tonight? Their burrito. <laughs> this is a Caesar wrap. I know, wrap, not burrito. I understand, but are you gonna take whatever you have for dinner tonight and wrap it? Put it in a tortilla. You've got to, to, just for, I mean. What do you want me to do? I hope you have like gazpacho tonight for dinner. And you have to wrap your gazpacho. It's a cold soup, Cooper. What do you want to watch with this? I'm going to watch the game. Can you please finish eating before you speak? <laughs> I'm talking to the smartest receiver I've ever been around in my entire life. I can go boom. And then go Most of the time, the adjustments that he's talking to me about are on run plays where he's blocking some linebacker or something, so. Yes, now. He's a unique dude and a guy that cares nothing about himself, just wants to win, and it's been a great start to, to my days as a Ram. Oh, okay, I can't do this. I can't watch you guys jog around in shorts. Uh, this way. Good, where are your hands? Hands should be moving. Hands should be moving. All right. She summoned me to be a coach today. Yeah, you gotta be a coach. This is assistant coach Matthew. Hi, so baby. coach Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. Hi girls. Are you a QB? I am. All right. What's up, man? He's also a Thank you for your fandom. Those moments where he gets to be with my girls, taking them to school, taking them to gymnastics, watching them play basketball, I think that gives him the feel of what life is about. You know, football is a job at the end of the day. Football is what he does, it is not who he is, and he knows that better than anyone else. Go, Hunty, go. I, have, I think we should all just shoot baskets. Kelly, can I get that rubber band? It's so hot. Here we go. Let me see. Pony. Yeah, you're good. Go, Chandler, come here. What's up, baby? What's up? What's up? No, no, no. What's wrong? I can't understand any of the directions. Look, just watch. That's the best way to learn is to watch it, right? So look, here they go. Here goes your team. We dribble. The other team's trying to play defense. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. We did great. Now we got to be good teammates. Hey. High five. No? All right. He is a 
dad first. It's one thing I love about him. <laughs> All right, what a W, ladies. Yay! Good job, baby. I have a day off, and this is what we do on our day off. Color, or go to the park, or we were at the beach earlier. You want me to do something different? Uh, thanks. Dinosaur. That does not look like a dinosaur. What do you mean? We're doing a flying pterodactyl. It's a monster. It's a monster? <laughs> You're gonna get me? I'm gonna clean this up, okay? Oh, man. <laughs> Bye, sunshine. See you tomorrow. I gotta turn on this game. Okay. <laughs> well, what about the game? No game. Bringing five, playing one dog. Uh, that's in the lines where we used to play, remember? It would, first of all, it would give me a panic attack to watch him play in Ford Field against the Lions. Like, I don't think I could emotionally go to the might, game. It might happen. I know it might happen, but I don't know if I could physically go to the game. All right, good luck. Thank you. Be safe. I will. Love you. I'll call you in the morning. All right. He's gone. What are we gonna do? Good afternoon and welcome to SoFi Stadium. The first of two games in five days here at SoFi. With a month to go, Maurice, it's all right there for the Los Angeles Rams. Daddy! Wanna say Yeah. Give me a kiss. Daddy! Don't get tackled. Don't get tackled. All right, babe. from the left hash to the right sideline. Eight for eight through the air. Flings one right sideline. It's caught! Here we go, here we go! Here we go, hey, let's go. Bundle right tight. Matthew Stafford connected on his first 12 throws today. They will get the football first to begin this third quarter. Knockout punch here could be pretty valuable in saving some reps for Thursday, you know what I mean? Set up to throw. Full set. Deep down the left side. No one near Cup. Caught the 20. Untouched to the end zone. Stafford unleashes a rocket down the sidelines. There's just a miscommunication here by the commanders. They just let Cooper Cup go. They don't even see him. I'm not gonna lie, JB, I thought Matthew Stafford overthrew him. I almost missed you! And the first 20 points of week 15 belong to the Los Angeles Rams. No one can do the things that Matthew does. Point blank, period. That's just what it is. Come on, man. Don't ever stop running. Yeah, you were jogging. Let's go. Hey, gotta show him you still got it. Let's it go, end zone right side. Cut! Stafford can't miss. And they are back to 500 and in the playoff picture. Let's go, Daddy! 
Matthew, what's the biggest challenge this week for you? Is it above the neck or is it physically? Uh, it's both. You know, it's it's obviously tough. It's not an opponent that in division or something that we really know. Um, Got to, you know, dive in and see kind of what they're doing, what their team looks like this year from a defensive standpoint. You know, I came out of this one pretty clean, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, but it's always a challenge. Uh, I just think about how I feel on Thursday practice, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I'm going to be playing a game like that. But adrenaline will kick in. It'll be fun. Thanks, Thanks man. Thanks, guys. Thank you. As an older player, I feel like the physical aspect is harder. Everybody's feeling something at this point. We're all battling through something, so no, no different than anybody else. Like any other season, we've had plenty of projects to figure out along the way. It's always ongoing, but Tito's always working his ass off to make me feel a little bit better. We do everything we can in here to boost as much recovery as we can and make sure that he's not stiffening up anywhere but make sure that we fit it in that hour time so we don't spend, you know, two and a half, three hours in here and then he doesn't ever see his kids, you know? Tuesday night, which is normally off day, figure out what I need to do for the next day or the next game or whatever that is. There's a bunch of stuff in here that, you know, is pretty cool from, from along the journey. This is my 15th year, so accumulated a lot of stuff, accomplishments, both individual and team, and some amazing family photos, too. That one up there after the Super Bowl with the girls. To do what I get to do with the people I get to do it with and have the family that I have, it's pretty special. Week 16, Thursday night game against the Saints. Just trying to get to know these guys as fast as I can. Saints and, and us are kind of in the same boat. You know, it's just a rush to get ready. Who can, you know, be the freshest, have the best plan, all that kind of stuff going into a Thursday night game. I'm sure everybody else knows the stakes better than I do. I'm just trying to win all the rest of them that we got. And you can't do that unless you win the next one. So just trying to win this one and, and go from there. Cooper, you might be the only receiver in the league that comes in at 6 a.m. and watch film with the quarterbacks. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever been around. <clears throat> Much to the chagrin of Matthew Stafford. It's just in here. Yeah. Just trying to get the ball, coach. <laughs> to be fair, this was my room first. <laughs> On a Thursday night game, it's so condensed. Yeah, I mean, everything just gets jammed, right? Go back. I need to keep an eye on old dude one five because he is humdinging some yeah. man rounds. Get yeah. the boys juiced up to make some plays down the field. And be like, listen, he's gonna give you some hops. Yeah. Let's go moss these I'll let them know. Here's the reality, guys. A lot of people talk about uh hey, it's a playoff game. It's been a playoff game for us since we got back from that bye, man. Nobody except for people in this room, when we came back from that bye, all right, would have thought you'd be in this position. And you know what? None of us are surprised. Turbo snap! The NFL is about where you're at right now. Love it. Hey, I feel like that thing is kind of... You guys are a damn good football team right now. You've earned the right to feel that way. And I think you're catching in the back of the end zone, no matter what. So if we call it from the 8 to 10, I think it's going to be that angle. If we call it on the 6, you may get up further and then flatten it. Just gonna be open. If you're open, give me some eyes. Playing with that edge, energy, and the swagger. That's who you guys are right now. We're right where we want to be. Hey, let's be ready to cut it loose tomorrow night, man. Let's go get a win, huh? Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Let's go. house here at the Rams house in Inglewood and we are underway week 16 Thursday night football begins now four and one since thereby trying to win a four straight here at SoFi in their home finale I'm one of 32 guys that gets to play the position that I play. Fellas, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Big game Thursday night, whole world watching, playoff lies on the line for both teams. 
being able to step out on the field and lock into just that. It's a pretty special feeling, and I still love that. Both teams, seven and seven, and right on that NFC playoff bubble. We're both fighting for the spot. It's basically whoever wins this game has a better chance of making it. Play fake, Stafford straight back. Wings one, deep down the right side. Nakua makes the catch. We got it. Fourth down and two, and the offense staying on the field for an angle situation. Can they punch it in? Stafford has it. Drills one, end zone. Caught! Yeah! Puka Nakua! Touchdown! Matthew Stafford with surgical precision. Hey, the post players are doing this. And if they want to melt, man, there's going to be nobody over there. Stafford deep drop, settles, hitches, reloads, now runs out the left side. Out the numbers, 35-yard line, throws downfield. It is caught at the New Orleans 30, Demarcus Robinson. Some backyard football. The Rams trying to get back above 500 for the first time since week one. Turbo cut! Stafford has a snap, sets the laces, progresses back of the end zone, leaping catch, caught, touchdown! Yeah! What a oh! Stafford hits Robinson for six. Woo! Woo! My God, we cooked it! A Thursday night football triumph. Ah! Left for dead at three and six since the bye. They've been the most electric team in the National Football League. This decides a lot. Decides if we're going to play more games or not. Rams get to eight and seven and are sitting pretty now with this little extra mini bye as they look ahead to the final two weeks. I'm gonna be the Grinch for a second. Hey, we gotta finish these games off better, we yeah. know it, right? Yeah, All yeah. three phases. We're playing too damn good to make this close at the end, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's put people the away. Mm -hmm. People fighting for the playoff life, that's just us too, man. Let's go oh, win the Let's yeah. go. Win on three, one, two, three, win! You, you played your ass off. You all did. The whole team the did. The team did. The team played, the, the team has been, the whole line's been playing. They're rolling. Yes, they are. Like, feeling themselves in such a I way. I love that. Oh, hell yeah. Have you I ever had an so O-line that's feeling themselves in 15 <clears throat> years? 21, a little bit. Yeah. But in a pass protection mode, these guys are like, care for people up, too. What that's got to be a good mean? feeling standing back there knowing that you got guys. That... I don't even think, like, I, you, I played so many times of it not being the case that you just got to, like, trust it no matter what. But, like, yeah. it's a great yeah. combination. Like, hey, you guys going to get beat every once in a while. It happens. Like, I'm going to get the rock out. Yeah. But when you guys hold up, I'm gonna make right. a hit too. Yeah. So it's. But you're also good. moving, like that one to. Yeah, be rough. Like you're moving. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's impressive. The end of the day, it's a win. W. Win's a win. W is W. Yes. Why aren't we talking more about Matthew Stafford MVP? Turbo 10. 15 touchdowns, two picks since the bye. All while healing that thumb that was this close to being a nice. season ending injury and that loss in Dallas. Let's get to clinching scenarios. How nice to have them here in week 17. Rams need to win. That's the most clear path to the playoffs. Stafford throws right side. He's got it. Breaks away. Kicked up down the sideline. Puka Nakua. All gas. No breaks. To give the Giants their first lead in the final minute of regulation. It's running out of steam. It's no good! From the depths of three and six at the bye, the Rams win a playoff spot. Keep going, stay healthy. How about the fact that LA is resting starters in week 18 of what was supposed to be a rebuilding year? You're seeing some of the scenarios that can play out. Look, like, shoot, roll, we feel good about wherever we end up having to go. We get an opportunity to go back to Detroit, and I think everyone was kind of pulling for that. For Matthew. The question preseason, could the Rams win more than six? How about ten? Next
Detroit. Stop Detroit. You think about Matthew Stafford going back to Detroit. This place is going to be nuts. Cheers for Stafford as he comes I onto the field. I don't know. He, he asked his way out of that place. Yeah. He asked yeah. his way out of that. I don't know if it's all warm and fuzzy mm. for Stafford. People are like, oh, they're going to give you, a, you know, a, an ovation or, a, you know, a video on the board. I'm like, guys, I know what I'm about to get from these people. And, you know, they love, they love football. They love their Lions. Going into that week, what I respected about it was that there wasn't an uptick of suddenly, like, there's this new Matthew that's trying harder or doing anything more. It was the same guy, the same approach that he would take for any other game. Which one do I hit? Which one do I hit? Yeah, red, right? Oh, I just hit backlight on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we get him a ball? Yep, spun. When we were three and six at the bye, they said less than 15% chance the Rams make the playoffs. But work with me. You guys just came back, went to work. What I think has been reflected in the last half of the season, we became more mentally tough. You got as much momentum as anybody else. Most people aren't tough enough to do what you guys have done. Where we were and where we are now, it may be different record-wise, but I really haven't sensed much of a change of your guys' approach as we head into the playoffs. Trust that foundation that you've built. Better make a play. You guys are writing a hell of a story. And however it ends up, man, let's just keep being us. And we don't change. We stay nice and steady. We enjoy this opportunity, man. And we're going to have a great week, without a doubt, man. Let's enjoy it. He'd almost be a robot to not feel certain things with the history and everything that he poured into that organization and what he's meant to that city. It was 12 years in Detroit where I feel like we made a lasting impact on the community. Definitely did some stuff that we're really proud of that's still there and still ongoing. Save Detroit is the charity which the idea is that it's an after school program. We bring the kids here with our own fleet of buses. First thing we do is feed them, because a lot of these kids don't have a meal at all in their home. We feed them first, and then they go into our educational annex back there. Kelly and Matthew Stafford and Friends Educational Annex. Thanks to Kelly and Matthew, we put in an NFL synthetic field. 200 kids come use this building, and your daddy was the one who donated so that those kids had a place to come. I always talk about kids who don't have a lot. So it's pretty cool, yeah. Being back in a place where you spent 12 years and you had all your children and we had a lot of big things happen there, including my surgery, where I felt like that city really rallied behind me. The feelings of being back in a place like that are hard to control. Go Rams, go Rams, go Rams, uh-uh, nope. Maybe in like November someone said something about it. Like, hey, there's a possibility this could happen. I was like, no. When it happened, I took a deep inhale and was like, holy hell, we're going back. We hadn't been back into that stadium since we said goodbye to it. It was definitely kind of a weird feeling. Never been through the back entrance, never done the security the way that the opposing team has to do the security. Walk through the tunnel for the first time, like I always do before games, kind of just peek outside, see what's going on. I've been there so many times in my life. It's a different feeling and I loved it. All my poor friends, I was like, yeah, let's walk, we're gonna be fine. It was miserable absolutely freezing. Holy cow, it's cold. But I did that because it was the same walk I always used to make. Matthew Stafford returns to the Motor City with the Los Angeles Rams.
booed the shit out of me, which was cool. When he was booed coming out, it was good closure for me to be like, I want to kind of rip their hearts out. Fired me up to go out there and try and throw for 400 and a bunch of touchdowns and let them know what they were missing. These two quarterbacks, drafted number one overall, were traded for each other. Have a good one, brother. Yep. Tremendously grateful for the time that we had with Jared, but I wouldn't want anyone else in the world to be our quarterback than Matthew Stafford. Oh. Yeah. Kiss. All right, baby. Love you. Let's go, baby. I've seen this year sidearm, but watch what happens. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. His hand follows through right into the helmet of Aleem McNeil. Oh yeah, he hit his hand on his helmet. He's fine, he's fine. You kind of get into a mode where, hey, I'm just, I'm gonna continue going until uh, there's something that they're not letting me go back in with. Matthew alone in the shotgun. Took him behind the defense. Caught the 20. Slips into the end zone. Touchdown, LA! We scored the first touchdown in Detroit, and I'm running around. I know that exactly where our, my family's sitting, and I'm looking up with my arms wide open. Boos rain down. He is the bad guy now. My thumb's, my thumb's killing me. What'd you do? I, I hit somebody's helmet. Uh, we got. Oh god. Had some ribs at a certain point that I got hit again in the playoff game. I was like, well, I know I'm not coming out of this game. Go through the first half relatively clean. I don't feel anything, and then scramble up the middle and um, fall right on the ball again, and boom! And I'm like, oh, of course, right? God, that sucked. God, that sucked. Oh my God! Right on these ribs, landed right on the ball again. Don't be mad, mommy. There's still more chances. Yeah, let's go. There's plenty of time, girlfriend. Clock running, 423 before halftime. Rams down 21 10. Hey, Kenny, Kenny! Kenny! Stafford steps under center, now audibles and backs up to the gun. Motioning from left to right, Puka Nakua. <laughs> Stafford has it, fires right side, it is caught. 2 2 Atwell. Touchdown. Touchdown! The Rams are back within one score. from the gun on a critical third and 12 from the Detroit 13. <laughs> and on fourth down, Sean McVay is going to send out his field goal unit. Stafford, watch him here as he gets crushed by Hutchinson. Ow. Everybody. He's not coming out of this game. I don't think so either. For Matthew Stafford is hunched over, and he is very gingerly going to be escorted to the bench area. My goodness, what a potential situation that is. God, please come out of the tent. Please come out of the tent. I don't know what the right thing to do is here, buddy. I've had so many ribs as a quarterback, I feel like you just get them all the time and you realize, you know, it's something in there that the treatment for it's not gonna change. Matthew Stafford has come out of the tent. You talk about toughness. The people here in Detroit, they've seen Stafford tough. 
That guy did everything he, he could do in his power to will us to a victory that night. He was gutsy, he was gritty, he was accurate, he was tough, he was big in crunch time moments. Matthew Stafford is like a fighter who's been knocked down twice already, keeps getting up off the mat and throwing haymakers. We're gonna have to be aggressive, okay? Let's go fight for that rock. Biggest play of the night here in Detroit. Third and 14 Rams at the Lions 44. Over the middle, it is incomplete. Nakua, the intended receiver, and he took a smack. Matthew Stafford had his chances. They give it back to Jared Goff, who has a chance to get a bit of payback. Hey, we get it back. It's probably going to be about a minute left. Let's operate our ass off. All right, let's go. First down wins it for the Lions because the Rams only have one timeout left. Jared Goff set up in the shotgun. He fires left side, caught the 40, reaching for the first down. It's Amon Ra St. Brown for the Lions. That's it, right? It's like it's a first down inside, two minutes. Game. Game didn't go down the way we wanted it to in the end. Felt we made some good plays, but left a couple out there. Yeah, I appreciate you. Keep going. I appreciate you, brother. Hey, good luck, man. You got your ball. Keep it going. There comes a point at the end of the seasons where it's like, I don't know how many more years I'm going to get to do this. I miss you. I miss you too, brother. How long can I continue to play at a high level? How long can I be healthy? Can we be successful as a team? Uh, hopefully convince him to, to keep playing because he's like a fine wine. He's just getting better with age. I hope I get another chance at another Super Bowl. I think when you start playing this game, the team aspect, the team goals of it are, are what's the most important. Yeah, well, Appreciate you. I love you, buddy. Yep, love you too. Love you, yep. And every word I've no doubt. about earlier, too, no doubt. Change no doubt. Like I want a gold jacket, you know? And, um, I was like, and I know what I got to do to get there, and that's win Super Bowls. And that's something that I've been lucky enough to do once. I want to do it at least one more time, maybe twice. You know why you shouldn't be sad? Daddy's done with football for a while. So he's going to be home, OK? Yeah, he can drive us to school more. Yeah, if he can take you to school. Because you rely and trust your teammates, um, and they have to do the same, you know, with you. They have to respect you and understand that, hey, this guy's doing everything he can to help me out too. So that's just like life. That's like a family. That's like a community, a town, whatever it is. Um, everybody kind of needs to help everybody out, and uh, in football, it's the same way. You played your ass off, you know. But hell, what a season you'll have. No doubt. We need one more, at least. You need one more. I'm in. Money. Okay. Huh.